Hello everyone, this is Jack from Obedia. Today we're going to talk about some session organization tips, in particular color coding and track labeling. So let's get started. So right now my session is completely colorless as far as my tracks and my clips. Um, all my clips are black and all my tracks are black. If I go over to my mix window, it's the same thing. Um, so a couple of things before we get started color coding some of this stuff, um, we want to make sure that we're actually seeing the track colors. So what I mean by that is over here on the uh, edit window drop down, I have this track color option. And you can see if I have the track color enabled in this case, it's still black. That's because all the track colors in this case are black. If we go to the mix window, uh, we have this little color tab down here. And I can come down here to my view options and track color is shown. Uh, or is not shown right now and if I show it all the tracks are black so one of the things that I like to do um, I, right now the session has been mixed so I understand which uh, track is which uh, it, it helps obviously that they're labeled um, but if I select you know from the top to the bottom here if I just click the top and then hold shift and select to the bottom of my drums and have all these drums what I like to do um, is is color um, everything in every session uh, the same. So all my drums are blue and I always use this blue for my drums. Uh, in order to get the uh, clips and the track color the same, we want to make sure that this preference option is selected within the display tab and default clip color coding is set to track color. So once that is uh, confirmed, then we can turn this little button on, which will basically turn the, uh, the whole track or the whole channel strip that color as opposed to just black and then the color over here. Uh, there's a little bit more visual information this way, and I just turn the saturation all the way up and the brightness all the way down, and I get these really nice-looking tracks. Um, so moving on here, if I go to... Uh, actually, this is a drum track as well. Uh, then my shakers, that's a different kind of percussion. Uh, a lot of times my percussion is like an orange. And then same thing with claps. And then with my bass, my bass is purple most of the time. You can do whatever colors you want. Um, and then my guitars are green. Um, and then my vocal, my lead vocal, a lot, of, a lot of times I make pink. And then the background vocals, I make a different shade of pink. So that way I can kind of differentiate those a little bit. Then notice that every color so far that I've had has been on the very top row. Then the other thing that I do is for my buses, so my drum bus down here, I will color uh, a, a dark blue. So I know that it's related to these drums up here. Same thing with the percussion, I'll color a dark orange. And then the bass, I'll color a dark purple. Guitar, I'll color a dark green. Vox, I'll color a dark purple or pink. Uh, and then my mix is always red. So that way I know that my mix, um, anything that's red is like the, the mix bus or the master or something like that. So basically if I do this with every session, then every session that I open, I know if, I, if I've actually organized it by color like this, I know instantly by looking at anything that's blue, that's my drums, or purple, that's my bass, and so on and so forth. So that's just a little color coding tip for you, um, and hopefully you know you can come up with your own color scheme and uh, make your sessions a little bit easier to navigate. Thanks for watching.